Ford's Waterworks brass valves and fittings offer a variety of service line connections. When properly installed, the pack joint, grip joint, quick joint, and ultra-tight provide simple and convenient connections to a variety of pipes and tubings. Improper handling can damage brass fittings. Always protect the threads and be careful not to drop items. Never use pipe wrenches with teeth and avoid loose fitting wrenches. And consult the manufacturer of your service line for any specific installation requirements. Before making a connection, be sure the pipe or tubing is round. For copper tubing, use a rounding tool and remove any burrs. Clean or scrape off any dirt or corrosion so the surface is smooth. On plastic pipe or tubing, insert a properly sized solid Ford metal insert stiffener. Before any installation, refer to the instructions packaged with your Ford product. The pack joint nut is a compression fitting that uses a beveled gasket to provide a watertight connection against the pipe or tubing as the nut tightens. Additionally, a split clamp with machined grooves grips the pipe when the stainless steel clamp screw is tightened. Thread the pack joint nut loosely on the connection and insert the pipe through the nut and well past the rubber seal gasket. Hand tighten the nut until the gasket begins to compress. Tighten the pack joint nut using one wrench to hold the body and the other to tighten the nut. One to one and a half rotations past the initial compression. Tighten the clamp screw to securely retain the surface line. The Ford Grip Joint Nut is a one-step compression fitting that uses a beveled gasket and bronze grip ring to create a watertight and properly restrained connection. Thread the Grip Joint Nut loosely on the connection and insert the service line through the nut, grip ring, and well beyond the rubber seal gasket. Insert the pipe at least one-eighth of an inch away from the bottom of the socket, leaving room for the nut to draw it further into the socket as the nut tightens. Tighten the grip nut using one wrench to hold the body and the other to tighten the nut, one and a half to two and a half rotations past the initial compression. Tightening the grip nut is the only step required to seal the gasket, washer, and grip ring inside the fitting for a watertight seal and reliable restraint. The Ford Quick Joint Compression Fitting is a one-step connection with a positive and externally viewable stop. Simply tighten it until the nut touches the nut stop. A large gasket and stainless steel grip ring are drawn down together as the nut is tightened, providing a hydraulic seal and mechanical restraint at the same time. Thread the quick joint nut loosely on the connection and insert the pipe or tubing through the nut well beyond the rubber seal gasket. Insert the service line at least one eighth of an inch away from the bottom of the socket, leaving room for the nut to pull it further into the socket as the nut tightens. Tighten the quick joint nut using one wrench to hold the body and the other to tighten the nut until it contacts the machined nut stop. Successfully reaching the positive and visual stop provides maximum gasket seal and restraint. The Ford Ultra Tight is a true stab fit connection. For use on plastic pipe or tubing, just insert the line into the fitting to provide an immediate lock. Make sure the pipe or tubing is compatible with the ultra-tight fitting being installed. Each fitting is specifically designed to fit either SIDR7 PE pipe or SDR9 PE and PEX tubing. Use caution when tightening all threaded connections. Use a tube cutter to ensure all cuts are square. And make sure the pipe or tubing is clean round and not nicked or cut. 
Ultra-tight fittings do not require the use of an insert stiffener unless installing on PEX tubing meeting ASTM F876 and AWWA C904. Use a chamfer tool to bevel the end of the plastic pipe or tubing before making the connection to assist insertion and prevent O-ring damage. Align the pipe or tubing with the fitting and push it straight into the fitting all the way through the grip ring and the O-ring until it reaches the internal stop to ensure a complete and well-supported connection. Ultra-tight fittings can be removed and reused. A removal tool is required to disconnect the ultra-tight fitting. Slide the tool between the pipe or tubing and the fitting to relieve the grip engagement and then pull the pipe or tubing from the fitting. To reuse an ultra-tight fitting, you must replace the internal grip ring. Minimize tubing deflections and ensure all connections are properly tightened. Perform a pressure test to make sure there are no leaks before carefully backfilling around the connection and service line so the fittings are not stressed by the weight of the earth. The installation is now complete. When properly installed, each of these compression fittings from Ford Meterbox will provide years of carefree service.